number four of the course titled uh, Secure Communication, which is a course of S8 Electronics and Communication Engineering students yeah. under uh, APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University. The faculty handling today's session is Professor Shabrina. He is uh, presently working with the Department of Electronics and Communication at uh, St. Joseph College of Engineering and Technology Pala program. He has of, uh, teaching experience and has worked briefly with the Information Kerala Mission as a network engineer before joining SJCET. His interests are in communication systems, both uh, wired and wireless domains. Uh, he also volunteers with various uh, international organizations like IEEE and Internet Society and is also associated with the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers. He currently volunteers as the uh, President of Internet Society, Kerala Chap. Sir, it's my privilege to welcome you to this session. Thank you uh, for that wonderful introduction. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my privilege to uh, give this lecture as part of the Asian School of Assistant Program at uh, Kerala. And synthesis college of engineering. Well, uh, uh, generally, coming speaking about secure communication, I would want you to read out what is written on this slide here. Uh, there are one zero types of people in this world. There are those who understand security, and there are those who do not. Well, by now, I think you understand that one zero up there is uh, binary, and it is two for binary. There are just two types of people in this world. Those who understand binary and those who understand security and those who do not. Welcome to Secure Communications. This session, we will be talking about the module 4 of your topic, uh, which generally deals with block ciphers. And you specifically have to learn about two algorithms, uh, which works with the block under the block cipher kind of architecture, the data encryption standard, and the encryption standard. Probably this lecture we will uh, cover up to what the data encryption standard specifies. Well, you guys right. right. Uh, two people whom I consider personally, on my personal side, consider as very good crypto batters in Kerala. Not Prithvi Raj and Kuru, but Kanjaramala and Nolvi. Uh, well, seen this movie, uh, you would by now have understood that these are two people who came up with a perfectly beautiful script. They came up with that only these two people could understand. And nobody else in this world could understand what they were coming to. Uh, and that exactly is what the program is. This movie of course shows you the entire scenario of what severe communications should be. So these two people communicating with each other, where I had to they do not want anyone else to know that they are communicating. So confidentiality is introduced. Uh, right? So whatever Moibin is trying to say, it's the same information has to reach uh, integrity is over there. And availability, whenever they want to communicate with each other. Right? So, now, uh, channel, whenever I know, if you remember the movie, how can you buy the small guy and maybe the Guru Kari Chichi is the channel of communication between the and the source and the destination, and the channel will be the for the And you have hackers as well. The eavesdrop here, either there is a mother or a or or a and whoever. Okay, so there are three other people who would, or a couple of other people who would want to block their communication. That part is also over there. And if you remember uh, the movie, the encryption part is also very beautifully shown in there. Uh, you know, you remember the first song of this movie? But yeah, song in other, there is a, you know, a book being posted to Sanjana, and uh, she picks up the book uh, from the bedroom, she goes to picks it up, and uh, the paper like a little uh, book will underline the you know, words in Martha, and she picks out and writes it on a piece of paper, which gives out meaningful information which will give her. Character marking is something that you have already learned in your first module. So, we started off with character marking and went on to a full scale crypto that we are coming up with a full script uh, to exchange messages. So, if you have these concepts in mind, probably what is going to be learned in this topic and whatever is already understood. Now, this is voltage. 
plays in the sense when you do not have computers. So pen and paper is changed. Right now, in the age of computers, uh, you understand that everything now gets into binary. So whatever message Pandora or Mali has to type out into the computer will be represented in binary. So ones and zeros. So just ones and zeros. So on how do you work of, on these cryptographic algorithms on ones and zeros is what block size are is all about. But it still reflects a lot on what concepts we have discussed earlier. Ciphers in general, uh, you know, treats a book. Yes. So it is not plain text or alphabet uh, being processed one by one. It is a set of the plain text that is being processed and giving you a set of output. And typically, a block size is going to be around 64 or 128 bits. Like, uh, mm, Say, for example, uh, my dean has this message to Kanjana uh, meet me at 2 p.m. at the banks of Iravipura. Okay, so meet N, E, E, T, N in the corresponding 8 bits. Okay, E, corresponding 8 bits. Out of the E, in the 8 bits. T, 8 bits. So, out of the you have 4 times 8 bits. Right, so that, that may be considered N as one block. I'm talking about the encryption of the node to the size of the corresponding to that. So our kind of encryption algorithm is what we call block cipher, and that is called the discrete cipher, which we must have already learned about. Okay, so block ciphers uh, use a block, and generally they need to have an encryption key at both the source and the destination point. So, symmetric ciphering algorithm I generally use you, and you will learn about asymmetric encryption algorithms probably in the next module. In total, almost all, uh, both of these, uh, uh, you know, block ciphering algorithms, yes, generally works based on a generalized structure, which we call the feastal cipher structure. Now, IBM will work with the you know, uh, cost feastal, that uh, cryptographer at IBM came up with this generalized algorithm. You know, this algorithm is sort of an extremely large substitution algorithm. At this point, I would, I would want you to recall what substitution Algorithm is. Remember the Caesar cipher, right? Although I have the alphabet in the three places down, but it is three places substituted. That is what substitution of cipher is. It's got a lot of time. Uh, information theory at the Jana Shannon Total and Society. The Shannon card came up with a required cryptographic algorithm. We define them as diffusion and confusion. And that is exactly what we mentioned. In diffusion. Okay, so diffusion in a parameter it should be such you are, your item should have this each that whatever your plain text is, that text in the statistical parameters should not get reflected into the cipher text as such. Okay, now how do you achieve that? We'll come, come to that later. And then there's another term confusion. Now you term of uh, or you can moderate the term of confusion, statistical parameter of key with Cipher text. Okay, Shannon proposes you can know one whole part of the algorithm. While you did learn about uh, the, uh, in a classic version, but one practice because of three specific problems. If you remember rightly, coming up with a truly random table and mammoth uh, size, the key which could be used to very difficult and again, key transition was an issue. Among the problems, it had one whole part in practice using and giving a value. And that is when Shannon will. With the suggestion that you need diffusion and confusion, and to get diffusion and confusion, we can go ahead and use two methods substitution and permutation in combination. Now, all this while, classical algorithms are going to be done. You remember, right, that you have a quite a few algorithms which work on the substitution technique, so the Caesar cipher and all those things work on substitution, and there were a quite a few other algorithms which work on trans. Position cipher, the trans position, transfer of position, alphabet cipher, characters in the normal replace you will have a the position in the message in market. So the rail fence cipher and all those things. And for us, the ciphers are used for mutation. Now, if we use both together, Shannon suggests that you can get both diffusion and if you have the diffusion in the market. Right, uh, so we're moving on to feastal cipher structure. Now, substitution and permutations are 
പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് എല്ലാം കിട്ടും എന്നാണ് യുനോ ഷാൻ പറയുന്നത് now how do you get that and uh, how is uh, you know how did feastel actually implement that into a structure now yeah, feastel gave gives us you know cryptographers and feastel on generalized the structure and then anybody can go ahead pick up that structure and modify it accordingly and come up with your own encryption algorithm so maybe a features now one of the features he gave he said that you have to use whatever process you are doing so substitution and permutation nammal cheyyanengil adu multiple rounds alone cheyyanam okay and likewise when he used the substitution and permutation perform substitution only on one not how it has and then there is some function f okay some mathematical function which happens on another half using a key okay so there is a mathematical function or maybe a logical function we will see what it is or a function f on down or a sub key which on the normal plain text will work here and then we have the permutation happening so three step process are feastel and they have the structural mention here we will see what they are what all has feastel given you as a cryptograph open to go ahead and work with now he kept open the block size so nammal the plain text now to know do you want a 32 bit block size and the process or do you want a 64 bit and process because remember this guy uh, diffusion here now diffusion parayunnathu was that okay diffusion state cheyunnathu uh, is that one bit change okay one bit change in the plain text corresponding cipher text in our thicker to the thing Uh, that's what diffusion is what happens to the chart so for larger diffusion to happen you need a larger block size so the block size of 8 bits on the you know won't get good diffusion right ethra round how many times you want the process to come you again get the process to be done how many times do you want this process to be worked upon yeah, that's what you call the round function this is what round function is uh, uh, and now every single round needs a key ഒരേ അൽഗോരിതത്തിന് ഒരുപാട് കീസ് നമ്മൾ ജനറേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നോ റൈറ്റ് സോ വോട്ട് വി ഡു എസ് നമ്മൾ ഒറ്റ ഒരു സിംഗിൾ കീയെ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യത്തുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ കീ ആൻഡ് ഫ്രോം ദിസ് വൺ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ കീ യു ക്യാൻ ജനറേറ്റ് സബ് കീസ് എത്ര റൗണ്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് സബ് കീസ് നമുക്ക് ജനറേറ്റ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കാം Now, a sub-key generate is not an algorithm in that. That is again left to you. Okay. Sub-key generation algorithm is left to you. What mathematical or logical function do you want to happen in each round over here? You call that the round function F. Okay, so using multiple round functions, maybe you can use different round functions. Maybe you can use a simple XOR uh, operation as a round function. Open. Okay, so what do you correct carrying them on code? ആക്കി തന്നേക്കുകയാണ് ഫീസ്റ്റൽ സോ ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഗോ ഈ തേർട്ടി ടു ബിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഓപ്പറേഷന് ആദ്യം രണ്ട് ഹാഫ് ആയിട്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യും വൺ ഹാഫ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ബിറ്റ്സ് കോൾ ഇൻ ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാഫ് ആൻഡ് ദസ് അനദർ ഹാഫ് കോൾ ദ റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ബിറ്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ സോ തേർട്ടി ടു ബിറ്റിന് രണ്ട് ഹാഫ് ആയിട്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യും ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാഫ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് യു സി ഈ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഇസ് ഓക്കെ ഇവിടെ വരെ ഇവിടെ വരെയുള്ള പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഇസ് വാട്ട് യു കോൾ വൺ റൗണ്ട് ഓക്കെ ഈ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ തന്നെ വീണ്ടും മുൻപ് നടക്കുന്നു ആ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ തന്നെ ഫീസ്റ്റൽ ജനറലി സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ റൗണ്ട്സ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ ദിസ് വൺ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ റൗണ്ട് ഇസ് ഷോൺ ഇൻ ദിസ് ലൈറ്റ് ഹിയർ സോ യു യു ഗെറ്റ് ടു സി വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ ഈച്ച് റൗണ്ട് സോ പ്ലെയിൻ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് നിൽപ്പുണ്ട് റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് നിൽപ്പുണ്ട് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാഫ് നിൽപ്പുണ്ട് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് യുവർ റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ബെറ്റ്സ് ഇവൻ ഇവിടെ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ബിറ്റ്സ് നിൽപ്പുണ്ട് ടോട്ടൽ തേർട്ടി ടു ആണ് എന്നുള്ള അസംഷൻ ഓക്കെ നോ സി ഒരു റൗണ്ട് ഓപ്പറേഷനിൽ വാട്ട് എവർ യു ഹാവ് ആസ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ദ റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് അടുത്ത റൗണ്ടിലെ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാഫ് ആയിട്ട് പോകും യു ഡു നോട്ട് ഹാവ് എനി ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഹാപ്പനിങ് ടു ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാഫ് ഓഫ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് റൗണ്ട് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഓക്കെ നോ അടുത്ത ഹാഫിലെ റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫ് ആയിട്ട് പോകും that is the half of the round the left half of the previous round in a indo or operation team okay or 
ഒരു എഫ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓപ്പറേഷന്റെ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഓക്കെ ഈ എഫ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്തോ ഒരു കാര്യം നടക്കാനുണ്ട് സോ റൈറ്റ് ഹാഫിൽ എന്ത് ഡേറ്റയാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഡേറ്റ വിത്ത് കീ ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷൻ നടക്കുന്നു എഫ് നടക്കുന്നു എഫ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ടും ഈ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാഫും കൂടെ എക്സോർ ചെയ്യുന്നു and that xor is what goes in as the right half so that is what is shown in the mathematical expressions here input round l l0 previous round na na l0 parayala so previous round l0 uh, left half uh, previous round la right half uh, input type pogunu ee or particular round la left half or li enna parayunnathu ri minus 1 aayirikkum so the previous right half endano the same thing goes in over there R I in the bar in the is a function f of previous right half and k the round between right half and that particular round key that the left half is round that goes in as the right half of the key. ആ പ്രോസസ് വെച്ചോണ്ട് തന്നെ പറഞ്ഞത് അത് തന്നെ പറയുന്നത് ഡീക്രിപ്ഷനിലെ സ്റ്റീൻ ആയിരിക്കും അതായത് എൻക്രിപ്ഷനിലെ ലാസ്റ്റ് നടന്ന റൗണ്ട് ആയിരിക്കും ഡീക്രിപ്ഷൻ പ്രോസസ് ആകുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും റൗണ്ട് വൺ ആയിട്ട് നടക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഇൻ റിവേഴ്സ് ഓർഡർ ബട്ട് ദ സെയിം ഓപ്പറേഷൻ അതിന് എൻക്രിപ്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഡീക്രിപ്ഷൻ തമ്മിൽ ടീച്ചർ പ്രൊപ്പോസ് ചെയ്തേക്കുക സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വൺ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് വോട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ ടീച്ചർ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓക്കെ ബൈനറി അല്ല ഇവിടെ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ട് ഹെച്ച് ആണ് കാണിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് difficult for uh, for us to understand so maybe over a particular round there is d as a half and 03 a6 at the right half now this goes in as such to the left half of the next round so see 3 a6 and then the next not to go right half i to where another the 03 a6 f function with the round key now this is a key here so or a function between the right half and the key xor with the previous left half is what comes in over here exact opposite goes in at the decryption round okay now this is an example from your textbook which uh, you can check out any time now what should f have ee parayna f nu parayna aanu mathematical function de process nath bhangi aayittu nadakkanam engil endu characteristics undavanam f don't need any tricks for f so you can come up with a any f but security when angle you need to make sure that f gives you proper diffusion okay and a little bit of confusion we done the properties namaka how do you get that you get that with substitution and permutation see e swapping over here nadakkunnundallo the swapping over here of left and half, right half gives you the permutation and uh, this part this mathematical operation over here gives you the substitution so substitution and permutation is in our bond so both substitution and permutation which on the well f equal is giving you diffusion and confusion and for f to give you sec you need to make sure that plain text pattern patterns are hidden and the key pattern is hidden so this is confusion and this is uh, sorry this is diffusion here and this is confusion here you need plain text patterns to be hidden key patterns to be hidden in coming up with a good f function is very hard there are still people doing their research and coming up with a good f function and it is still being done now having said this about uh, feasible structures in general if you have any questions i think uh, it's uh, close to half an hour uh, should we uh, take any questions any sir yes sir we have a question uh, yes. it's from ashik and uh, the question okay. is are key and round function the same are key and round function the same is the question here no the answer is no key is different 
function is different. If you remember from this slide, I mean, let us go back to the slide here and see. Uh, I'll just cut this out. Okay. Now, for another, if you remember uh, Caesar cipher properly, number three has a particularity uh, in the cipher. Like more the positions down the line, I turn a substitute in you know, three over there is the key. Now, round function in that case is the substitution. Marty Vekigana for in a process and our round function. Now, if it's the e case, a round function in the bar another is some mathematical operation. Okay, maybe mathematical or law. Uh, maybe your example can be taken, you will start it's actually just an XR. Okay, with XR right operation night to panel boil. But here is another keyword. Number password in the parade. Password I for a keyword on a main key. The main key. This main key is the order of round of operations. And they will have order of round of operations. Order of key venom. First round is the key venom. Second round is the key venom. Third round is the key venom. Fourth round is the key. Fifteenth round, sixteenth round is the key. So, key is the Sub keys I to generate here, I to sub key generation algorithm or not. So, key is different. Key is and password of all the other. Round function is the mathematical and logical function. Okay, so we'll see that uh, in DES you will see a uh, very specific example what it is. If there are anything else, uh, I can take them or we can move forward. Uh, yes, sir, there are uh, questions. Uh, next is okay. a question from Jasim, and uh, his question is What is really happening in F function? Okay. What is happening inside F function is what we will see in this particular example. With this specific example, we will see what is happening inside F. Okay. So probably in 10 minutes, I will give you an answer to that. Question. Okay, sir. And uh, next is a question from Archana. And her question is, how subkey is created? That is based on the subkey generation algorithm. Okay. How is subkey generated? Uh, there is an algorithm for the subkey to be generated. We call that the subkey generation algorithm. That is also part of DES, which we are going to see in maybe a few minutes time. Yes, okay, sir. There are no okay. questions, sir. And please proceed, sir. So, thank you. Very, uh, very, uh, very good questions. Uh, I see that you are engaged. I would also want to draw your attention to this particular website, okay? Uh, now that you are interested, have I been bond? Google in Moko, have I been bond? The first result is going to take you to this website. This is just for your security, okay? Type in your email address here in this location and bond or not in order to check it out. So whatever your email ID is, type it there, check if you're bond. Uh, next page I type in bond chamber uh back in the book of checking of the chair. Next page I think you will get a result. Uh, result of Kirtumbam, there are two kinds of pages that you can have. You can either have, you know, a red page or maybe a green page. Okay. Red result of Kanaki angle. It means that any Namakundam Perikarida, Namadella details and Kalam would do a Okay. You have been born, so somebody has your, your email, your email IDs and passwords. Go ahead, change your password fast. Red is on a page rather than to overweigh password. Green and Anna can another angel be the example. Or if the password and lunch engine logo, green and a can angel either very item on the moderator, be very, very careful and take things forward very, very careful. So, coming back to data encryption algorithm, let us see how this algorithm works. So, you understand that P still general either for a structure of our new. For algorithms of the work you don't care no in the back end. And uh, you, in your first module, you might have already came across uh, this term, the National Institute for Standards and Technology, NIST. Uh, NIST was earlier the, the National Bureau of Standards. Okay, so our algorithm number can make up a Shabri's algorithm, right? But the algorithm uh, internet till Gmail use the password encrypted the way I told the algorithm I accept you know when they the standardization get on when they are not like I didn't it is the NIST okay now uh, or earlier the National Bureau of Standards so in 77 National Bureau of Standards uh, would, would open college uh, are there anybody who can come up with a very good algorithm 
Okay, and uh, in '77, this open call was attended by a lot of participants. So the hackathon was there. Okay, in the hackathon, we were in another open competition. So hackathon, uh, there were a lot of applicants who came in, and that hackathon was each participant came under the banner data encryption algorithm (EEA). So data encryption algorithm in the banner, and the ഉള്ള ആ ഹാക്കത്തോണിൽ ജയിച്ച ആളിനെയാണ് ഡേറ്റ എൻക്രിപ്ഷൻ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആരാണ് ആ അൽഗോർദം ജയിച്ചത് നമ്മളുടെ ഫീസ്റ്റൽ തന്നെ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഫീസ്റ്റൽ ഹിം സെൽഫ് ഹു കെയിം അപ് വിത്ത് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് അൽഗോർദം സോ ഫീസ്റ്റൽ ഐ ബി എം എൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ ഫീസ്റ്റൽ വാസ് വർക്കിംഗ് ഐഡിയ ഐ ബി എം എൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നപ്പം ഐ ബി എം എൽ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് വേണ്ടി ഫീസ്റ്റൽ കെയിം അപ് സംതിങ് the lucifer algorithm so avarde avarde internal applications ne vendi to lucifer algorithm kodu no ee parina hackathon ilekku lucifer ne slide ait nu modify cheyu submit cheyu he called that the dea data encryption algorithm and then that won the, uh, uh, the competition and got accepted as the data encryption standard so data encryption standardized cheyu the code it used 64 bit blocks the example i gave you earlier was 32 bits now this guy used the 64 blocks and a 56 bit key okay now this is a point to ponder namu sadharana parayarundu key size um block size um same aayirikkanam enna so look at this guy he used the 64 bit blocks and the 56 bit key so there is some addi- addi- addition to happen over there and then the, the algorithm is a series of steps so the first la parnana kore round functions undu a reverse yan pattum blah 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 all those things are over there now ibm like one the algorithm got got submitted there were a lot of people who said that then the yalo fifth bit algorithm is there and then and they check the lucifer okay the i have seen the 128 lucifer na the 128 bit key ubhayogiche aale keri submit the option na the vanna pettekum he is using only 56 bit key why is that and there is a controversy and that but then We had to, you know, public events to for a um, capacity building workshop or whatever. Some of the people are doing some of the people are doing the DES is a very good algorithm and all that. And then one day, once DES was uh, accepted and as a standard, even financial applications in a very DES are used yen totally. But currently it is not DES being used. Okay, currently it is advanced encryption standard that is being used. this is what a des is all about maybe I, i'll wait for 3 seconds you can get a screenshot of this ningal uh, the exam nam idu valare important aayirikkum a screenshot eduthu vechollu let us see how this algorithm works now sub key engena generate cheyunu is the answer over here now let this algorithm works in two parts okay now any one of the front like all the algorithms ella is going to work in two parts you have one part okay sorry about that the left part of this part here is the actual encryption algorithm and the right side of all other is the key generation algorithm okay key generation algorithm or yan oro round lekum oro key vena okay yan varichu ande porthu thai poi just paste this right so oro you have different key coming in so round 1 like you have the key 1 coming in round 2 like you have the key 2 coming in round 16 like you have the uh, key 16 coming in so what is particular key matrame nammal undakkathu so the user cryptographer generates a key again you write the same other 6 bit i sorry 64 bit ana yan netta parney 56 bit unda okay so point to point how does this work നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം ലെറ്റ് സി ഹൗ ഇറ്റ് വർക്ക് എഗെയിൻ ഇവിടെ എഴുതിയേക്കുന്ന ഓരോ റൗണ്ട് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ മാത്രം ഓൺലി ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ബിറ്റ് ക്രൂസ് ആയി സോ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർ ബിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ദ കീ ജനറേഷൻ അൽഗോരിതം ഫ്രം സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർ ബിറ്റ്സ് എന്തൊക്കെയോ ചെയ്ത് ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ബിറ്റ്സ് ആക്കിയിട്ടാണ് റൗണ്ട് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ നാത്തേക്ക് പോകുന്നത് സോ ടു ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഹു ആസ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് യുവർ ആൻസർ വിൽ സി ഹൗ ഇറ്റ് വർക്ക് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ സൈഡ് ദ റൗണ്ട് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇസ് വാട്ട് വി ഗോട്ട് ഡിസ്കസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് എസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന അൽഗോരിതം is this guy over here he or block on a ds and parayna which says that you have the 64 bits that comes in there is something called an initial permutation happening initial permutation so and for the permutation is just you know uh, changing the bit order i'll show you uh, you know how initial permutation happens very 
chemical permutation happen here the data there are 16 rounds of operation so what happen inside this round function general structure nammal kandu nammal nerthe kanda idan the round dinakattu nadakkunnathu so initial permutation kaiyittu uh then i'll do 64 bits within the second 32 bits of left half and 32 bits of right half of home so we have 32 bits over here and you have another 32 bits over here e function na the gari itrem process ana round 1 il nadakkuna so round 1 in the back il ivda you have the 32 bits ivda you have 32 bits combine cheyda you have 64 bits here aa 64 bits ana dande in not karu ee 64 bits comes over here to round 2 Round two na the same process onno da naratunno comes back over here. Adinaar pravasham e process keeps on repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay. E oru process na thun you have substitution and permutation happening. Security aya, right? Very good. Now all this happens inside the encryption algorithm. Now there's something else that happens with the key generation algorithm. Let us see what happens in each of these rounds. Okay, over here. Uh, if you have the screenshot, okay, it's around 16. Can you uh, look at this? There is another 32 bits swap on this. So 16th round, can you remember? These 32 bits, these 32 bits, some kind of idea. I'm going to ignore them. Put swap on that. Some weird number swap on that. That swapping can you remember? You have. You have the initial permutation and the process on that. That is the exact inverse. So whatever happens, mole. That is the inverse happens. at the last part we call that the inverse initial permutation so see 64 bits nammada meet me at iravu poya le meet inde mathramana itrem process nadathekkala adu kanye me at adutha itre process nadakkan povana okay so that is now e initial permutation la this initial permutation this is what happens uh the first slide uh, the first part of the des is what you see in this slide over here initial permutation you can see on the sukshit uh, nokial you can have you can see markings in here so this is bit 1 okay first bit second bit third bit fourth bit angana 64th bit ana ee kadana so initial permutation nu varnal ee bits ne onnum change cheyindra you are not going to change any of these bits you are just going to re order the position of these bits So, if first bit will be na alene, so maybe the one or a zero, you don't know. Now, one or zero, it is going to be. So, you follow this line, and maybe you know, position number forty is going to be there. So, bit one position will be na alene, bit forty will be going to be there. Bit two, eight will be going to be there. Bit going to be forty-eight will be there. You just reorder position change to you know in the initial permutation. Is the inverse permutation? So, in that no, you would have done that. Even the first one, like okay. So, this is how data encryption standard starts. Initial permutation, last round, the inverse initial. Monica, okay. Now, what happens inside the round? Okay, round structure. Now, that in that no, not done. I am here to understand you. The left half, in the parayin of for a particular round, is going to be the right half of the previous round. So we still end up no parayin that exactly the same thing happens here. The right half in the parayin that is right previous right half with the round key in the operation key no ever. Adne you XOR it with the previous left half that gives you the current right half. So whatever features structure said. This is exactly the same thing that happens inside the data encryption standard. Now, the round function f in the parayin other, namak ka thoru na thoru ekono raala na, right? So, cryptographer is free to choose whatever round function he wants. Let us see what round function did. He still himself choose from the Lucifer's algorithm. Okay. Now, the f function na agar take ka input to bogan na raala. You see here, f function like a program that is the right half. Now, right half here is just thirty-two. So, plain text le thirty-two bit goes into the a round key. Now, you can see from here it is just forty-eight bits. So, forty-eight bits of key, two bits of int ne ana f function in the process of chain goes there. Fine. Okay, let us come back. Sorry about that. Right. So right half will have a process here. I'm going to use the 32 bit right half and the 48 bit E. Now, our our result is going to be XOR. 
what happens inside the F structure in all of it is shown over here. Okay, you can I will just pause here for one second so that you can get a screenshot of this. This is get is quite important. What happens inside the F function of data encryption standard? Now this is the answer to that gentleman's question. Okay, what happens inside the F function? Okay, so as I said, number the feature structure like F function in the parameter is this big southern over here. Now what is it? you see 32 bits coming in 32 bits of right half goes in and you see another you know, 48 bits on in the number of other so 48 bits of e on a other thing you get uh, 48 bits name 32 bits name i think another property and the lot. so you need something to make sure that this 32 bit gets expanded to 48 bits so there is an expansion module which expands 32 bits of right half and then expand either 48 bits architect now this 48 bits and 48 bits of round key okay first round and key one i can second round and key two whatever so round key of 48 bits and this 48 bits which is expanded from 32 bits of right half simple xor operation okay for a simple XOR operation between 48 bits and 48 bits. So once XOR operation is done, here you have again 48 bits as output, right? Simple XOR, there's nothing else to happen. So 48 bits of output. Now that is what comes out of S. Now S in the output is 48 bits. 32 bits of plain text on the one, right? So you need 32 bits to come out. You can't have 48 bits to go out. So this 48 bits right now has to be reduced somehow to give you 32 bits of output. So 48 bits in a 32 bits are can reduce here. I think we right now use something called substitution. So in substitution part of the control substitution on the now that substitution happens in this series of S boxes or substitution boxes. So 48 bits in a you go ahead and divide it into eight six bits. At the uh, box and down, at the substitution box and down, that is like a number six bits of it. Get the gate order. Auto S box, you know, kind of transforms this six four bits. So, so there are six lines over here, there are just four lines out here, over here. So, if you get four bits, if you get four bits, if you get four bits. So, eight four bits output to get a total three. Very good, you get 32 bits. So 48 bit to 32 bit conversion happens through this what you call substitution boxes. So to bring it F or uh, function or round function in the parameter, basically there is an XOR between the round key and an expanded plain key and uh, sorry plain text and you reduce the 48 bits to 32 bits plus. Reduce either the leg, you go ahead and perform one more permutation, so internal permutation with 32 bits in the position from up in the you know, you get 32 bits of output. So 32 bits goes in, 32 bits comes out of over here. So you would have picked another. Now, this particular result of 32 bits, previous left half of my XOR is either the upper the right half of the computer. Simple, fine, very good. Now, S, F, R box. Now, E substitution under law. What happens inside this substitution? Now that is a standard data encryption standard has standardized uh, the eight substitution boxes. This is a substitution. You can just uh, search it out on Wikipedia. Now this is the substitution box number five. So E5 substitution box number. E5. Now how is this this particular six bits converted to bits? Okay, so six bit input getting converted to Six bits into four bits. So you have substitution box. So six bits in a program are which substitute your number output in the number kail on the so this is a four by sixteen uh, box over here. Now from the six bits of data that you have to pick, you pick the first bit and the last bit. Most significant bit to least significant sorry, more uh, yeah, least significant bit in pick in. So either the kind of zero and one. Okay. Now this is 011, the most significant bit and the least significant bit chooses 
the row to be taken. So, zero yum, one of the kind of you choose this row. Any, not a kind of bit. Okay. Uh, this is one one zero one 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 zero one over here. One zero one and goes ahead, and that chooses which column has to be chosen. Fine. So zero one chooses the row uh, column. In that these forty are on each other. Other list you go ahead and place. So zero one one zero going to be replaced with one bit, four bits of one zero zero one. Fine. Now give it a, you had zero one one again yeah. zero one and boy row and two zero one one zero one boy column and two zero give it a output ID you have one zero zero one. That is how the substitution box works. Okay. So this is again is a very beautiful work. Now coming to how the key schedule will work. The key schedule is again very very interesting. You can just take a look at this part over here. Uh, this exactly gives you how the key schedule works. Now the 64 bits of key goes in to a permutation one. So there are quite a few permutation choices, one and two to be used. There is a permutation choice. So 64 bits in a permutate either you make it into 56 bits first. Okay. So 64 bit na on the radius is 56 bits. This 64 56 bits is left circular shifted. Left circular shift either being the on the permutate either 48 bits. So 64 bits permutation 56 bit left circular shift 56 bits uh, permutation again 48 bits. Now e 48 bits is what goes into your encryption algorithm. So 64 comes to 48 for key one. You would left circular shift to each other and I beam them left circular shift to each other. them permutate you to E2. Beam them left circular shift permutation 48 bits E3. As far as a cryptographer is concerned, number of 64 bit key generated to each other. Your key generation algorithm goes ahead and chooses. 16 different combinations from the 64 bit so 16 combinations of 48 bits are the round in our video code. so this part answers the lady's question this part answers the gentleman's question and uh, the key generation shield answers the other question right and how about decryption just like we said earlier whatever happens in encryption exact reverse order same thing happens so you need Permutation in the variable last the final permutation, the inverse editor. First round of decryption is the 16 of encryption. So, in the end, the other and the opposite of that. Molina target encryption are going to be the same as the same as the other. Thus, data encryption standard was it. Now, this is an example from your textbook. Here is a very beautiful example so that you can understand. Again, I have hex over here so you understand. So 16 rounds of operation under. So maybe after first permutation, this is the plain text. Okay. So there is 32 bits here and 32 bits here. You can see here, right half will end on the part of the left half like a book on the No change. If you have BAD22845, where you have BAD22845. Something operation not a no, you would have no love. You can see the right half of the previous round goes in as the left half of the next round. Perfect. Right? No. Right half like a Vedana Ala goes on different in every single round over here. This is the right relation in the karma, and then this key is got operated with this key and then added with this and then come over here. So, this is how data encryption standard works. You can be very, very aware of the avalanche effect. Now, avalanche breakdown in our ring there is five transistor for less. Covid and some boys don't trick it. Where are the boys and Allah, which would and Allah boy and Allah, which and Allah boy and Allah, which that is our answer. Now that is exactly what DES also exhibits. Number of diffusion and confusion, okay, diffusion, setting up the effect on an avalanche effect in our era. Now let us see that avalanche effect in this example. Very good example. Now this is effecting diffusion, okay, diffusion of our. Thanks.
corresponding text to plain text 1 and this is plain text 2. So look very closely, it's all the same. Now let us look. We are at the first round of the game. This is what we get. We play in text in the first round of the game. This is what we get. This is what we get. So the first round of the game. This is all the same. This is all the same. See, we put a direct round of the change. Okay. So you put a your change is just one. Go to second round. Second round of the game. Okay. You put a right half of. Ah, I'm gonna tell you. You put a left half of the game. Right. If you can change the number between these two, around five positions, we have to change over here, change here, and then change here. Five bits are changing the number between these two, right? Second round, the third round, let's work on that. The other, in order to wait, we're going to put right half of the number, we're going to get on that. 18 bits of change here. Correct. You see, when I'm at me, this is the next. It's a change. We have a 34 bits of change. 18 rounds are so all the round length different bits of change in the own day. It is in the total between plain text. One bit change between plain text, 16 operation and inverse permutation by me. Okay, it's just change to one more. That is what we call avalanche effect. And this gives you very good execution. Okay. Likewise, this example over here shows you. Uh, what avalanche effect is in confusion? Confusion that means feel a change to text writer to do statistical relationship on that. Now, let us see how it takes place here. Plain text is exactly the same. Plain text is exactly the same in these two things. One bit, okay, one change in key is a law change in corresponding size of text. I think I have very uh, no, three minutes more. I'm just to show you that they have very good uh, strength in terms that uh, 397, you know, a few months. But then, you know, in nine, nine hours to, for a cryptographer to, you know, the channel is to break data encryption standard. You are going to run a pool. Data encryption standard, you know, very, Atra Bora Rana Karapa standard, 2000 IR, uh, it was brought in the new algorithm. Advanced encryption standard was brought. In. Kind of some data encryption standard, we call it the uh, future return analysis. The linear return analysis, I think we should just give it a small read. I probably have time. Uh, we can discuss about that in later. And there is one more thing about uh, data encryption standard. There is something called a timing attack. Okay? Now, generally, brute force attack, which is a different plan. You know what brute force attack is. Uh, you know, kinds of uh, data and different shoots of analysis and make timing attack. Different kinds of input in a process with the output are created and it takes different times. Say, for example, Metro Railway, you go swipe the card, uh, get to open the unit. There's a little bit of a happening in the relation. And that is also. So you swipe it, you get to open it. So that time, it's a uh, really good column goes ahead and monitors that. In other words, he can find little bits of keys. Okay, so general 56 bit key, which is a concern of one hour on the break in it. Okay, I shall want to be a bit, uh, in this like a book, and it takes around 500 to 10,000 years. Uh, this is pretty long time. Then I don't know. Who do password of a children number you can pass over and their number of passwords. So, you know, one to be a bit, yes, will suffice at this point of time. And this guy will not suffice. And that is what we will probably discuss uh, in the next class. Advanced encryption standard. So, in general, this is what we discussed today. We discussed about what our block size is, what piece size is. Uh, we discussed about the design criteria and uh, how uh, piece has or piece has given us open, uh, how encryption and decryption happens, and what our aspect is, and a little bit about uh, the strengths of the. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm still open to it. And I hope I've answered the uh, later couple of questions. Anish? Sir, and uh, we yeah. have a question from Adira. Uh, the question is, why permutation is needed? Can it be directly passed to mm -hmm. the first round? OK. Uh, 
not the data. Uh, which is still proposed permutation okay and substitution by is what gives and and that is what sham so even permutation and random random combination random uh, sorry permutation random substitution random and then combined they will get very good and we say that decide this such that the first Loss, okay. Data encryption standard is going to be there. Shabari's algorithm need not have the initial permutation. There is anywhere permutations happening inside every round. But for to go ahead and have permutation. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, sir. Uh, one more question. Uh, what are the topics that uh, must be expected from, from an exam perspective, city exam perspective. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, on an exam perspective, I'm sorry, I'm not in a position to answer that question because I am a person who, you know, kind of uh, uh, want you to enjoy the learning component, okay? Uh, so, uh, because anyway, all these things are required if you need to go ahead and uh, pursue a career in cyber security. Especially, you should take this, uh, you know, COVID, there are a lot of work from home happening right now. So, cyber security field has opened up a very large, you know, area out there. You should understand this, that uh, yes, very true that doctors and nurses are doing an absolutely beautiful job in helping us uh, during this COVID time, and of course, the local self governance, the police, the SAP people, you know, learning is happening very nicely. But in Latin Adel, there are two more people who I, I would term as the unsung heroes. Okay, Un unsung heroes in the sense, power, electrical engineers, power systems are proper to maintain. You know, this internet communication that we're having right now, communication engineers, network engineers are working very tirelessly at the back end. So communication, power, and cyber security are all opening up a very big job opportunity out there post-COVID. So if you need to yourself to have, land up with a good job in cyber security, obviously you will have to learn everything uh, on this. And again, exam perspective will matter might a particular area that might not help you much. Uh, enjoy learning, have fun with learning. If you didn't understand any of these concepts, please, please uh, feel to get back to me. I can help you anytime. That won't be much of a problem. Uh, okay, uh, again, exam perspective by the particular Anna and will naturally data encryption standard is usually an examiner's delight. But uh, data encryption standard once on the piece to set. That's we still have the other they are the user component. It's Lucifer cell algorithm which was modified slightly. Yeah. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you, sir. And uh, sir, now there are no more questions, and uh, audience have uh, responded that it's clear, and uh, they have okay. expressed their thanks to you. Okay, so, sir, thank uh, you. We can wind up the session. So, yeah. on behalf of ASAP and Higher Education Department, I thank Professor Shabrina for uh, handling the session on uh, Oxciphers. It was a very informative and wonderful session. Also, uh, a special thanks for the commitment shown by him towards the academic community of the state at this times of crisis. Now, thank all the participants for attending the session. Once again, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Anish. Yeah.